With so many silverfish competitions through the winter up and down England, it's now time for me to bring you to a fishery that's just full of silverfish. I brought you to Aston Park. Aston Park is between Worksop and Sheffield. It's just a couple of minutes off the M1. It's a fishery with 240 pegs available to fish over seven lakes. There's an on-site tattle shop that's well stocked and also a cafe. We've retired to the cafe today because the weather's just caught up with us. The weather this afternoon has been catastrophic again. We've just had rain clouds come over the top and we've retired to the cafe where we can talk about what's happened today on the fishing. My friend who owns the fishery, Alex Mitchell, is a former Barnsley Blacks. He's a great angler, so he knows what a fishery, what a fishery really needs to deliver for these silverfish type matches. All these lakes here are stream fed and it falls down a system of lakes, so the water goes from each lake to the other. So the water quality is fantastic. The breed fish on site here and all the lakes are full of fish because they keep adding to them fish all the time so there's new stocking policies. It really is a brilliant place to come fishing for matches and also for pleasure fishing as well. At Aston you've got all types of silverfish but the main target species to catch a weight is hide. These lakes have been extensively stocked with these type of fish and I always think of, of hide have been a very greedy fish. They're a bit like a chub, very, very similar type of, not where the feed, but amount of bait that you need to feed to keep them in the swim. Even though this morning we were greeted with a frost, I've still fed quite a lot of maggots. I've only fished three hours. Three hours, you want to be feeding about, about a pint an hour. So you're going to get through three pints or even five pints in a five hour match. Aston Park Fishery, there's all hills around Aston Park and of course what we've had for the last couple of weeks is lots and lots of rain. So this has slightly changed my approach to have a fish for the hide today. Because I looked at what the water was like, I didn't expect to catch any fish through the water. And the rigs that I've used have actually portrayed this. I've set up two rigs where they intended to use today, both with SF3 floats in 0.4 of a gram. Now the reason for this, I wanted to arrive quickly down to where the bait was landing on the floor. I didn't expect to catch any fish through the water like you would normally when the water's much clearer. So both rigs have had a bulk and just two droppers below. All number 10 shots. The two shots below have had a six inch up length and then a shot, then another six inch, then another shot, just both number 10s, and then a bulk. So the full rig is about 18 inch on the first rig. The second rig, all I've done is moved the bulk up further. So the second rig's got the bulk about two foot from the hook and again, just two droppers below, both number 10s. Both these rigs are made to fish close to the bottom. So the bulk arrives down to where the fish is and then the number 10s present the bait slowly on the drop, but down where you're fishing. Fishing a strung out rig in these conditions would have been no good because everything would just take too long to settle and you wouldn't catch any fish on the drop anyway. So anywhere where you go where the water colours, then just fishing down to the bottom is probably the best way to target these hide. I've also incorporated a back shot in the rig. Now when you get wind on lakes, today when I started fishing it was quite calm but it, the wind got up quite quickly. And when you've got wind, it nearly always makes some kind of tow on the water. So both rigs added just a number eight shot about six inch above the float. 
And this is because when it's pulling, you can drop that back shot onto the surface of the water and just hold above that. So your float's presented against the back shot when you get some undertow on the water. This is probably the best time to catch eye when you've got some water movement. Today, later in the session, the, it dropped almost flat calm and the toe dropped off and it become much more difficult to catch them. I also dropped down to the rig with the bulk shot two foot away from the actual hook. And this helped because if you think about it, when you've got a block of shot, the nearer you put that block of shot to the hook, the more the fish can feel it. So lifting the bulk up so it's high, sometimes when the fishing is difficult, it produces better bites. Now you might think when the fishing slowed down, that I'd slow down with the feeding. But this isn't the case. When you're fishing for hide, I've already said, they are a greedy, greedy fish. So you've got to keep the momentum of feed going in. You, I knew that the fish were still there because of the amount of indications I was getting. So they're still teching those maggots. As soon as you stop feeding, you'll lose all the fish and, and then it takes a long time to get them back. The other point to make about today as well was a fish double maggot, double red maggot, both hooked in the nose. And this was because again, because colour in the water, I found that single maggot, when you were just waiting a lot longer for bites, double maggot, a bigger target. I've already said the greedy fish and they just love to, to eat maggots. So double maggot were the best bait to start with. I fished an 18 Acolyte Silverfish hook. These are a grey black type of hook, but they are fantastically sharp and you can nick two maggots through the nose really easily. They also, they're slightly turned in, so you rarely get a bait doubling over the hook. Aston Park has delivered for us today. There's so many fish in these lakes here that even in the depth of winter, you're gonna get bites. And that's what winter fishing's all about. We can all sit there and wait for the big one, but getting bites is what keeps you warm through these winter months. And I've loved coming here. I've caught around about 16 to 18 pound of hide, mixed in with a few roach. This is a great example of commercial silverfish fishing. Any venues that's close to you where you've got plenty of silverfish, including hide, Try these tactics, I think you know, you'll be surprised how good this type of winter fishing can be.